Good morning, people. Watch Woman 65. Lisa Boyce here with another eye-opening video that just came out this morning. Now, I know uh, Mr. Christian, shout out to Mr. Christian, Fiery Girl, and Wackadoodle Samoa. And I know we had did something, he had did something on this this week. But now the end begins, just put this out this morning. I want you to hear this. The fact that we have a global, we will have a global population of 7 billion, 777 million, 777,777 during the same week when we are celebrating the death, burial, and resurrection of the Passover lamb is astonishing. Not to mention, this is not a coincidence. Now, Sean had went over, uh, Mr. Christian had went over the verses of scripture, but I wanted to go back over it. I can never do it the way he did it. He was that that video was awesome. But I wanted to go over something in Romans 11. 11, um, sorry about that. 11, 25. It says, the blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. Now, for the longest time, I thought that the fullness of the Gentiles were those who would be born again. Those Christians. It didn't say that. It didn't say that at all. So I wanted to let you know that. Um, that is just talking about people born. To That's what it means. The Lord had hit me with this earlier this week before he even did anything, did a video on this. Now Jeffrey's going to come out with this today. This is not a coincidence. By no stretch of the imagination is this a coincidence. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to read this to you. It says, in this breakout, crazy, 2020 year of eye-popping, breakout, crazy, end times events. Let me add one more to our ever-growing list of end times excitement. The global population will reach exactly 7 billion, 777 million, 777,000, 777 souls on planet earth sometime between the day that Jesus went to the cross, Wednesday, which is Passover, and the day he was risen from the dead, which is Sunday, Resurrection Sunday. Think about that. And it all started with Passover. Which for us, this year begins Wednesday, April 8th, which is also the day Jesus went to the cross. Think about this. Remember I said yesterday, get ready. Something big is about to happen. I'm not saying it's the rapture. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, keep your eyes open. Let me read something out of John 19, 14, 15. And it was the preparation of the Passover and about the sixth hour. And he saith unto the Jews, Behold, your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. The number seven is uh, featured prominently in prophecy. And all through the book of Revelation, we see seven churches, seven spirits of God, seven golden uh, candlesticks, seven stars, seven lamps of fire, seven seals, seven horns, seven angels, seven trumpets, seven thunders, seven angels, seven heads, seven crowns, seven last plagues, seven vials, seven mountains. There's a boatload of sevens in the end times. And just for your information, I was just watching Fox News and watching Andrew Cuomo give his daily briefing on this coronavirus update in New York. The last um, end of the uh, hospital briefings that he went through, he said 777. Not even three minutes ago. 
So I'm just letting you know that. So the global population of 7 billion, 7777, the fact that it will happen during the same week where we are celebrating the death, burial, and resurrection of the Passover lamb is nothing but astonishing. That is not by coincidence. I'm just giving you something to be encouraged by. Like I said, I'm not setting a date for the rapture. I'm just giving you something to be aware of. I'm giving you something to look to. I'm giving you something to open up your eyes for. This is a high watch time, if there's been any. Now it says here, this is a fun fact, a tremendous change occurred when the Industrial Revolution, whereas it had taken all of human history until around 1800 for world population to reach 1 billion. The second billion was achieved in only 130 years, 1930. The third billion in 30 years, 1960. The fourth billion, 14 years in 1974. The fifth billion in only 13 years, 1987. And the sixth billion in only 12 years, 1999. The seventh billion next week will have taken only 11 years, 2020. You know where I'm going with this. What a great time for the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. Am I saying it's going to happen? No. But it would be a amazing time for the rapture, for the rapture. Not only do you have this amazing and perfect number of souls on earth at Passover when Jesus declared he was getting ready to depart out of this world, John 13, 1. It is also the springtime when the Song of Solomon tells us the rapture will take place. Now, when you realize that all of this will be taking place as the entire world is on lockdown. That is also prophesied in the book of Zechariah. Due to a global plague, the Rapture Ready Index should be ready to launch. Let me put it like this. Rapture Airline 777 will be taking off, should be ready to take off. Like I said, I'm not predicting the rapture. I don't want somebody writing me saying, you're setting dates. You're doing the No, I'm not. I am not setting a date. I'm just letting you know to keep your eyes open once again. So, because it's not a coincidence that this is happening. I mean, you have to be really, really blind to say that this is a coincidence. This is not a coincidence. I'm going to leave this article in the description box and you can read it for yourself. I just wanted to let you know. Now, let me give you this quick, uh, quick review of the timeline. Jesus, I'm going to give you, these are bullet points. I'm going to give them to you. Jesus crucified on the cross at 9 a.m. Wednesday morning. Taken down off the cross at sundown. Buried three nights. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Passover, the high Sabbath day on um, Passover, the high Sabbath day on a Thursday, buried three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the regular Sabbath day, Saturday, Jesus rose from the grave Saturday night at 6 p.m., the start of the first day of the week, which is Sunday, the tomb is empty before the sun rises on Sunday when people start arriving. Now we have the fulfillment of Jesus' prophecy to be. In the heart of the earth for three days and three nights, the Roman Catholic Good Friday timeline is short by being by nearly two full days because they fail to see, this is what the Catholics do, they fail to see the two Sabbath days that occurred. The only they only see the one which is on Saturday. 
They also fail to understand that Jewish calendar and how their days were set up according to Genesis 1. When you realize that 6 p.m., the current day, ends and the new one starts, that changes everything. Now, Jeffrey has some stuff in here, so I'm going to link this article in the description box. Again, I'm giving you something to think about, giving you a little bit of encouragement to look up. I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea, and I'm not pretending I know. But that's not a coincidence. I can tell you that. Anybody who's not saved, I strongly, strongly tell you right now. Quit messing around and get saved because we are about to take off. The rapture is here. Everybody's feeling it. Everybody knows something. I'm just telling you right now to get saved. Admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. There's only one savior and that's Jesus Christ. Believe in him and what he did at the cross for your sins. Believe who he was. He came as a man. He died on the cross. He came as a man in sinless perfection, died on the cross, was buried, and rose again on the third day. Call out to him. It's the ABCs of salvation. Simple, simple, simple. All you have to do is believe. Lord, I believe in you. I believe what you did for me at the cross. It's no rocket science. There's no coming to him but Lord, I'm dirty. I'm this, I'm this, I'm that. I, I haven't repented of my sins, which you don't have to because no one can repent of sins. It's not biblical. The Holy Spirit will take over in you and you will be rapture ready. That simple. I wanted to come on and give you that. So be encouraged. I'll be back later. Thank you.